Uh, right now, just before we uh, move on to a quick break, I want to talk to Maya Forstatter. Uh, she's executive director of Sex Matters, uh, and uh, they have published a fascinating uh, new uh, survey, a uh, new poll that suggests that, um, well, an awful lot of the things we talk about in this show and the Maya Forstatter has stood up for are things that, well, they really are the most popular majority opinions in this country, in particular the new poll showing that fewer than one in three people believe that trans women should be allowed in female changing rooms and less than a quarter of people think that trans athletes ought to be permitted to compete in women's sports. Let's talk to Maya Forstetter now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Julia. Thank you very much indeed. We're often told that these views expressed by people like you, J.K. Rowling, um, uh, other people who've been in the news lately, um, uh, like Kathleen Stock at the Oxford Union last week, these are controversial figures saying controversial things. They're not controversial to the vast majority of people in this country, are they? No, they're just absolutely ordinary beliefs and ordinary expectations. We asked... Um, a representative sample of the UK public whether trans women should be allowed into women or should be allowed to be excluded from women's sports, from women's spaces, uh, from things like providing personal care to an elderly woman who's asked for a female carer. Uh, and under a third said that they shouldn't be excluded. So under a third agreed with the Stonewall position, which is the extremist position yeah. that you should have. Uh, inclusion without exception yeah, that trans women are women nothing to discuss and you're a bigot and a trans baby if you say any different exactly yeah. most people agree with us yeah I mean, and that's the thing and that would have been the only view really that anyone held until about five six years ago and now it's must be changed but the real worry a lot of people have is that that view that that you know that, that this is a controversial view um that is it's entered our politics it's entered our media if i read one more we're going to talk to brendan o'neill about this in his new book one more article referring to a rapist or a sex assault in which they refer to her penis in court i will scream um um you know it's, it's, it's in our schools it's in our universities my god it's in our workplaces as well that ideology that mantra seems to it's just it's everywhere how do we take it on look you took it on in an employment tribunal you took it on in the courts other people are taking it on in social media i'm trying to you know you spread some light on this talking to uh, government ministers and mps how do we i mean not whether it's roll it back or roll it forward get back to a place of sanity where we are absolutely um, make make sure that life is welcome and, and and people are respected and safe if they want to live uh, I, I, with a trans identity. I have no issue with that at all, and only you have no issue with that at all. But that we also protect the rights and the privacy and the safety of women and girls. How do we do that? Well, we're asking Rishi Sunak and Kemi Bednock uh, to make a very small change in the law. So the Equality Act is the law that's supposed to protect us all against discrimination, including sex discrimination. And that's the law that says you should, shouldn't treat men and women differently in almost all situations. But there are some situations where you should treat men and women differently, for example, in sports or in changing rooms or toilets or jobs that involve other people's personal privacy, bodily privacy. Um, and in those situations, it has to be, or well, in all situations, it has to be clear that sex mean sex in the Equality Act. Um, and that's a change that the government could do. It doesn't need to bring a new bill. It just, it can do that through secondary legislation. So it can do it quite quickly and quite easily. And one thing our poll has found is that there um, is support for this across people of all political persuasions. Conserv conservative voters are um, more likely to say that there should be clear single sex rules but in fact, across all political persuasions, most people yeah. uh, don't agree with the Stonewall position and across all ages. So they can be really confident that this is what people want. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. It, this is not a controversial opinion, except, uh, you know, uh, in some very strange places. So we say, my Forstead, Executive Director of Sex Matters, thank you very much indeed. Really interesting polling there.